Hey, I'm Andre, and this is Komi Can't Communicate All Characters Japanese Name Wordplay Origins Explained. Uh, this might be a long video, so let's just get to it. Class 1 1. Starting with Komi san. So, Komi's full name is Komi Shoko. That's last name, first name. Which is very fitting because it sounds almost exactly like the phrase Komi Shoko, which means girl with social anxiety. Komisho literally means communication disorder and ko simply means child or girl. Next up, Komi-san's first friend, Tarano Hitohito. A perfect name for him as it is a pun on the phrase Tarano Hito, which means just a person or just an average person. This of course refers to the fact that Tarano is average at almost everything. He has average looks, an average height, average grades, etc. But let's move on to Tadano's childhood friend, Osana Najimi. Their name is very fitting because it sounds exactly like the phrase Osana Najimi, which literally means childhood friend. In fact, Najimi is actually so naturally outgoing and friendly that they're the childhood friend of literally everybody in the entire school. Agari Himiko is up next. Her last name, Agari, comes from the phrase Agari Sho, which means stage fright. In addition, the hi in her first name, Himiko, comes from the word hikyo, which means cowardly. Which probably explains why she stutters all the time and appears constantly bashful. As a side note, the miko in her given name literally means beautiful child. But it's actually just a common suffix for Japanese girls' names as is the suffix ko on its own like in shoko. Next up is one of my favorite characters, Yada no Makeru. Her name is a pun on the phrase makeru no iyada which means I hate losing or I don't want to lose. Which is funny because Yadano is an extremely competitive person who will turn everything into a contest. And yet she always loses. Next up, Yamai Ren. This is a pun on Koi Yamai, which means love sickness, wherein the kanji for Ren can also be read as Koi, meaning love. This name fits this character because she is obsessively in love with Komi-san to a seriously unhealthy degree. Some might even call her a yandere, a word which, by the way, comes from the same word, yamai, meaning sickness. Now, not everyone likes yamai, least of all, Nakanaka Omoharu. Nakanaka's last name is a reference to the phrase chunibyo, wherein naka and chu are two different readings of the same kanji. Now, if you don't know what chunibyo is, it's a very Japanese concept that basically describes the delusions of grandeur that some middle schoolers have while going through puberty. And if you look at Nakanaka and listen to the way she speaks, you'll realize instantly that she is very chunibyo, even though she's already in high school. Additionally, her first name, Omoharu, is a pun on the phrase shishunki, which uses the same kanji and means puberty. Next up is Inaka Nokoko. Her name is very simple. It sounds like the phrase Inaka Nokoko, which means country girl. And yeah, you can tell from her exaggerated accent that she's from the countryside, even though she tries her darnest to keep it a secret. One mine nene. So you might notice she has a lot of nez in her name. Ne comes from the word ane or onesan, which means older sister. Very appropriate because she has four younger siblings, but also because she's one of the more reliable and responsible students in the class. In a way, she's everyone's onesan. Onemine-san's close friend is Otori Kaede. This girl's name is a pun on Otori-fu, which means calm. And yeah, she's... She's a very... Very calm. And slow. Next up, we have this guy, Shinobi no Mono. His name is a pun on Shinobi no Mono, which is just a long-winded way of saying ninja. Cause... Cause he's a ninja. One of his best friends is Chiarai Shigeo. Chiarai is a pun on the word charai, which means flashy, possibly alluding to his unique sense of style. And the kanji in Shigeo can also be read as mobu, which means background character. Might be a little harsh, but he really is a flashy background character. The third friend of this group is Sonoda Taise. This is a pun on the phrase sonota ouze, which means extras, as in like on a film. In other words, he's another background character. Next up, we have Yamai's close friend, Onigashima Akako. Onigashima is the name of the island of ogres in the classic Japanese folktale Momotaro, and Aka means red. 
Her name overall is a reference to the fact that although she is usually a sweet sociable girl, she has a very short temper, like an ogre. Katai Makoto. So Katai is a homophone for the word Katai, which means hard or tough. And in the series, Makoto is described as Koha, which uses the same kanji and basically means tough guy. His first name, Makoto, means truth, which may be a reference to the fact that his true self is very sensitive and shy, but people always assume he is a hardcore delinquent. Except Tadano. Naruse Shisuto probably needs no explanation. He is very full of himself, so his name sounds like the word Narushi Shisuto, the Japanese pronunciation of narcissist. Speaking of explanations, here we have Komitani Chushaku, a boy in the class who basically acts as the in-universe narrator and commentator. Fittingly, his last name is Komitani, which is a pun on the English word comment or komento, and his first name Chushaku is a pun on the word Chushaku, which means annotation. Next up is the first of Komi-san's school field trip buddies, Kato Mikuni. Now, her name is not really a pun, but a reference to the real world shogi player Kato Hifumi, fitting because she is very passionate about shogi herself, and it is even hinted that Hifumi is her grandfather. Another fun aspect of their names is that both of their given names are made of numbers. Mi Ku Ni is made the kanji numerals for 3, 9, and 2, and He Fu Mi is 1, 2, 3. Komi's second field trip buddy is Sasaki Ayami. Her name is an anagram of Asami Asaki, the yo-yo wielding protagonist of the classic 70s delinquent girl manga Sukeban Deka. Likewise, Komi's friend also wields a yo-yo. Sato Amami's name is a pun on the word Sato, meaning sugar, and Amami meaning sweetness. Amami herself is a very sweet person to a fault as she never says no to any request. Before befriending Komi-san, she would even spend every morning tidying the classroom by herself. The next character never gets any lines, but her name is Kishi Himeko. Kishi means knight and Hime means princess, and Himeko is never seen without her armor and tiara. We talked about background characters earlier, but this group of three guys have even less screen time than the previous group. First up, Otaku Yuji. He looks like an otaku, but apparently he is not an otaku. Now, his given name was a little hard to figure out as far as any puns go, so this might be a stretch, but this is what I found. The kanji characters in Yuji can also be read as Uchi. Uchi means my home. The word otaku can also mean your home. My home, your home. One of Yuji's friends is Samurai Samu, or Sam. This is pretty self-explanatory. He looks and talks like a samurai, ending his sentences with Degozaru. The third of this group of friends is Seikimatsu Toshio. So the word Seikimatsu means end of a century, and the word Toshio Toko, which uses the same kanji as Toshio, means a man whose Chinese zodiac sign matches the sign of the current year. So what do these have to do with his character? Well, perhaps these allude to the fact that Toshio looks quite a bit older than his age. Some of the Japanese sites I referenced for this video also mentioned that he looks like he would fit right into the world of the classic shonen manga Fist of the North Star, possibly as a minor villain. And it's worth noting that Fist of the North Star takes place at the end of the 20th century and Seikimatsu seems to be a key word in the franchise. Ushiroda Eiko Ushiro means behind, which is appropriate because she sits behind Komi-san in class. Also, her given name, Eiko, uses the kanji for shadow. And I guess shadows often follow behind you? Maeda Jukujoski Hoshio. Maeda means in front, and he sits in front of Komi-san in class. His nickname, Jukujoski, literally means I like older women, which is a very literal description of his main personality quirk. Also, this might be a total coincidence, but Hoshio's name sounds very close to the real-world erotic manga artist Maeda Toshio, who was prolific in the 80s. So I don't know, maybe Hoshio became interested in older women after reading 80s era manga. And that's every named character in Class 101. But we're not done yet. Other students at Komi's school. Let's continue with Netsu no Chika. Her name comes from the phrase Netsu no Chi, or Neketsu, which means hot-blooded. And, like that suggests, Netsuno Senpai is a very passionate person when it comes to sports and competition. Even her hair is fiery. Next up are three of Netsuno Senpai's teammates in the school sports day. 
Now, these characters are not named in the anime, but they are in the manga. Their names from left to right are Atsumi, Atsuta, and Atsui. These come from the same root word as Netsuno's, although it is pronounced differently. Atsui, which means hot or passionate. Gorimi Senpai is the student assistant at the school library who will hit you with a paper fan if you make any noise. Her name comes from the English word gorilla, referring to her huge build and scary face. Yeah, it's not a very flattering name. Family members. Let's start with Komi's family. First, we have Komi Shoko, our protagonist. Her brother's name is Shosuke. Her mother is named Shuko. Her father is Masayoshi. Masayoshi's brother, Komi-san's uncle, is Sadayoshi. Sadayoshi's wife is named Ryoko, that's Komi-san's aunt. And their daughter, Komi-san's cousin, is named Akira. Oh, and Komi-san's grandmother, Masayoshi and Sadayoshi's mother, is named Yuiko. Now, the Komi family in general do not really have puns in their names, at least as far as I can tell, but there are some patterns. All the girls in the family except Akira have a name ending in ko. Shoko, Shuko, Ryoko, Yuko. Masa Yoshi and Sada Yoshi, of course, also share the same suffix in their given names, though they use different kanji. All the cousins also have the sound sho in their names. Shoko and Shosuke are obvious, but the kanji used for Akira's name can also be read as sho. So she's not totally left out. In addition, Komi-san's mother, Shuko, her maiden name was Nimi. The ni in Nimi means new, while ko in her married name, Komi, means old. So there's a bit of wordplay there. Next up is Onamine-san's family. Her younger sisters are named Nono and Nana, obviously named after their older sister Nene. Her youngest brother is named Kazuya, curiously. She also has another brother who goes unnamed in the anime, though according to the Komi-san official fanbook, his name is Takeru. You would think maybe the brothers' names would be Nunu and Nini to go with Nene, Nono, and Nana, but I guess not. To be honest, I couldn't find any hidden meaning or pattern in those names, so there may not be. Next up, Tarano's only named family member, his little sister, Tarano Hitomi. Okay, correction, I just found out that Tarano's mother was given a name very recently in the manga, but uh, since it hasn't been revealed in the anime yet, I am skipping it for now. Hitomi's name, of course, comes from her brother Hitohito, but it's a feminized version of it. The word Hitomi also means pupil, as in of the eye, which might be a reference to the Tadano family's trademark giant eyes with tiny little dot pupils. Katai Ai is Katai Makoto's younger sister, whom we've caught glimpses of in the anime but haven't been formally introduced to yet. Katai again means hard or tough, Ai means love. And when season 3 comes around, we'll see just how that relates to her character. Townspeople. Next up is Komi-san's hairstylist, Karisu Maki. Her name comes from the English word karisma or charisma because she is so charismatic. At least according to her assistant and protege, Arai Kamiko, whose only job for now is washing customers' hair. Which makes her name very amusing because Arai means washing and Kami means hair. Teshigawara Hoshiko appears in the episode where Komi-san is tasked to pass out tissues to people on the street. Teshigawara-san here is a random passerby who desperately wants tissues because she needs to sneeze, she spilled coal on her hand, she's sweaty, and she has gum stuck to her shoe. That's why her name, Teshigawara Hoshiko, is a pun on Tishuga Hoshiko, which literally means girl who wants tissues. Next up, Akido Tatsuhito, a man who showed up at the school festival and visited Class 1-1's maid cafe as a self-proclaimed maid expert. Fitting, as the kanji in his name can alternatively be read as meiro tatsujin, which literally means maid expert. Next up is one of my favorite one-off characters, Tenjoin Ryoko, the tour guide on Class 101's school field trip to Kyoto. She's passionate about being a travel tour guide, but she's also a bundle of nerves. Luckily, it may have been fated for her to become a travel tour guide because her last name Tenjoin literally means tour guide, and her given name Ryoko is a pun on the word ryoko, which means travel. Lastly are the four elementary school kids in Komi-san's neighborhood who she ends up participating in a snowball fight with. First is Michisato Rora, or Laura. Her last name Michisato can be read as Rori, or Lolly, which is a Japanese slang term for young girl. Her friend is named Shiota Shota. His name comes from the word Shota, which is slang for young boy. Saiko Chi is their other friend. This girl's name comes from the phrase Chi Saiko, 
meaning small girl, which is funny considering how tall she is for her age. And finally, the last friend is named Oki Itsuya. Again, a funny name for him because it is a pun on Oki Yatsu, meaning big guy, even though he's pretty short. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. This took a lot of research and detective work, so I'll be leaving some of my sources down below. If you think I missed something or got anything wrong, please let me know in the comments. Also, let me know who your favorite characters are. Alright, have an awesome day. As a bonus, for those of you waiting for season 3 of the anime, I'll give you a sneak peek at one of the new classmates Komi-san meets in her second year of high school. One of my personal favorite characters, Mambagi Rumiko. Her name comes from Mamba Gyaru, which is the name of a very niche style of fashion in Japan. And I'll leave it at that.